These teams can slow down the other star. Kobe Bryant and Dirk Nowitzki are both virtually unguardable this year. I think it could be a great shootout if they get hot. I'm curious how Kobe Bryant comes out to start the game. Only took 13 shots last time out in a loss. He knows he has to be more involved than that. Mike, I agree with you. I mean, that loss the Lakers suffered last time out to the Rockets only scored 74 points in that game, did the Lakers, and that just won't get it done. Kobe himself was quoted after the game saying he wished he had taken more shots in the contest, so I think it's a given. He's going to shoot more than 13 times tonight. So let's take a look at the starters for the Dallas Mavericks. Marquise Daniels out there with Nowitzki. And it's Griffin. And there's Terry. And it's Dampier in at the center position. Now Griffin. Lamar Oda missing from long range. 20 feet out. Jump shot is good that time. And Mike, the last few games, the Lakers' defense has been huge for them. Well, the last three games, they've held their opponents to 36% from the floor. You make it that hard to shoot, you'll win most games. And this is the final game of the Lakers' three-game homestand. Clark, they go on the road for the next three. Well, it's been a big homestand for the Lakers. They've seemingly hit their stride during this stretch. Here's Dampier, laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Excellent work in the screen and roll that time. Eric Dampier rolling to the right spot at the right time. And here's Kobe for three. And again, Los Angeles with the triple. You do not want to let him get in a rhythm from out there. Terry, the pass to Dampier. Good on the shot. Dampier has got his second basket. Great feed from Terry. I like seeing him scan the floor and find open teammates. Prime shot is good. You would think they were really feeling good in warm-ups because they started this game hot out of the gates. And their shot selection has been excellent. Great patience shown by them. And a strong finish with two hands. Tough not to see his man there. Great job by Griffin. Able to identify it early. Los Angeles leading by six. And Clark with the Lakers, when Kobe starts getting hot, you worry the other guys don't get involved as much. I agree, Kevin, because it's easy to watch a guy like Kobe carry the load. I mean, they depend on him an awful lot for his level of production. But if they're going to win, they're going to need other players to get involved. And that one's good. Parker training threes left and right, making it rain from behind the arc. Nothing that D is doing has worked which is why they are going to continue gunning from outside the arc. Inside, here's Terry. Shot's good. Jason Griffin Terry. making the play. At a size disadvantage, clearly, but Terry still found a way to make it work. And here's Bryant for three. Connects. He's got 17 in this quarter. He is determined to hunt shots out there on the perimeter. And it is paying off. He's finding a big chunk of his points from three-point range. And Dallas calls their first time out of the game. Ujic is jacked in for Los Angeles. Then for the Mavericks, Van Horn, he's jacked in for Eric Dampier. And Harris subbed in for Terry. Right here, right here. Passes it to Daniels. Takes it inside, and it is flushed down with a nice jam. Easy buckets like that. Just what the doctor ordered to get them back into this ball game. They need something to light that fire, and that, you're right, may be it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right to the rim and left nothing to chance with the dunk. So it's the Mavericks now, after Los Angeles picked up three with their lunch. Griffin. Here's Nowitzki. That's in, and he found his range with that one. Now one for two. I'll tell you what, Dirk Nowitzki has been great as ever this season. No fall off in his game at all. He really could be in the MVP conversations for the next few seasons, Mike. He's got an argument for best in the league. Dirk does so much at the four spot for this team. He is the franchise in Dallas. Mavericks making a switch here. Angus checked in. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Mavericks substitution. Number 28. Harris, Harris looking it over. Pass to Nowitzki. Basket is good. The assist from Harris. Nowitzki's got five points so far. Hard to think of a big man that's a better shooter off the catch. 
down low. That one is good from Van Horn. Van Horn's got it back down to single digits for Dallas. Boy, that was a pretty assist by Harris. And Odom's got the ball here for the Los Angeles Lakers. Good, good. Jumping all over them right from the tip-off. They now have a double-digit advantage. They look like the more confident team so far. This is why they've grabbed such a substantial lead so fast. Basket counts. Let's credit their discipline. They've been working for high percentage shots. Let's send it over to David Aldridge. David, what do you have for us? Thanks, Kevin. The Lakers tonight had a special tribute to Rick Fox before the game. Fox retired after the 2004 season and was a big part of that Lakers three-peat. Always a fan favorite, Laker fans had one last chance to cheer for Fox on this floor. Guys? Thank you for that, D.A. Hard not to be happy, Mike, for a guy like Fox. Great role player on those championship Laker teams. Right from the jump, these teams have been on fire offensively. It certainly made this an exciting early game. Bassers just keep falling. Harris against George. Harris draws the double. Here's Jump. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. Los Angeles leading by eight. And there's the pass to Brown. From 10 feet out. Yep, great play there. Set up by Walton. Brown's got his second bucket. Their scoring has been a problem. Been tough to handle. And it's enabled them to establish a substantial lead in the early goal. On the wing, Harris launches a three. Mike Dallas hasn't taken the same amount of threes this year as they did in the past. Coach Johnson doesn't want them looking for as many threes. You can see how different their approach has been. There's no backing down when it comes to Kobe. He'll take on anybody on the perimeter or in the paint. Lakers shooting their first free throws of the game right now. Los Angeles making a switch here. Green's checked in. Terry's checked in for Dallas. And what a matchup this should be. Lakers won the last meeting between the two teams the Monday before last. That was a back-and-forth slugfest. Here's Jump. A rebound by the Lakers. Here's Walton going inside. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. Excellent job that time by Walton. Staying with the shot through the contact. And Clark, in their last meeting, the Lakers won that contest by three. And remember, Kevin, it featured a fadeaway three from Kobe Bryant late in the game. Drama for real. That score gave the Lakers the lead, and they never looked back. And that is textbook perfect, the bounce pass. Exactly how you want to throw it. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Luke Walton. That's his first foul. Mavericks trail by 11. To the paint. Here's Armstrong. Love the defensive intensity from Vujicic. Really working hard to affect the play. Pass to Van Horn. There's the three. The putback. Here's Jump, and he jams it with authority. Boy, you love to see the aggressiveness using the height advantage to hammer it home. Five seconds separating the shot and game clocks. And here's Kobe from the arc. Got it for his 21st point this quarter. When he catches the hot hand, good luck trying to slow him down. Plays so under control, can spot up, drive, create for himself a matchup nightmare. Stolen by Bujicic. One on one here. George way outside. Can't connect from long distance. With one on the clock. That one, no good. And so it's Kobe Bryant making things happen for the Lakers. It's been an excellent game for him offensively. He's got 21 points. Welcome back, everyone, to Los Angeles and Staples Center. Second quarter just getting going. And so it's Dallas with a 12-point game. And, Mike, this is the lone trip to Staples Center for the Mavs this season. Yeah, these teams only see each other three times this season. This is the only chance for Laker fans to see Dirk in person. Bryant, that's for two. Again, Los Angeles. A tireless worker. Kobe's put so much time into his J, perfecting the pull-up. To the middle. 
and there's Daniel. That's good on the assist from Harris. Harris has got six assists here tonight. Here's Green. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. Nice ball movement that time by Brian, and I don't think he gets enough credit, guys, for how good a passer he is. And it's Harris off the drive, and he banks in the lane. Harris has got his first two points of the night. Here's Kobe. 23 points in the game. Ripped away. Here's Van Horn. Defended by George. They grab their own miss. The shot by Powell, no good. And this is the type of shot they want. Coming up empty there, but I won't be shocked if they try to go back to this. And as staunch as the Lakers' defense has been, Clark, Dallas doesn't look too bothered. Well, I tell you, Kevin, Dallas poses all sorts of matchup problems with their length. I think they're handling just about whatever the Lakers throw at them right now. Putting it down with some power. Wow, a true rim rattler. Yeah, going up strong with both hands. And we see more and more players possess this kind of range. He didn't get it to go, but you love to see the confidence from him there. Off the mark, had a chance to trim it to single digits. Here's Kobe. Count it. He's got 25 points on the hand. Kobe has such confidence. Feels like this guy can score whenever he wants to. There is with it. Now Green defending. Pass to Chuck. Daniel from outside. The rebound by the Lakers. Here's Walton. Again, Los Angeles. Walton showing off right there. Quickly letting that thing go. Average trail by 15 to the inside. Chuck, and he makes it look easy. Dunking it hard with one hand. That's what this team needs right now. You're right, cutting the deficit with the one-handed flush. Maybe that can give them a little spark. He's got this offense absolutely humming. And I love the patience and timing he's added to his game. Very obvious he's worked on that. And this is what a coach loves to see. Looking to create for others and making the killer pass. He's got excellent vision on the floor. Creating for his guy with a spot-on lead pass. And in the matchup between two elite scorers, Mike, Kobe has a major lead. He's come out on a mission. Kobe is refusing to have two pedestrian games in a row. And what a start, Mike, it's been for Avery Johnson in his coaching career. Took over the Mavs last season, has them humming this year, sports a 34-8 record as their coach. Not a bad start to your career. Kicks to Harris. Down low, and he takes that one up and powers it through. He is anchored in and making a living down low tonight. So timeout called here, the first for Los Angeles. Big group substitution here for the Lakers. Kwame Brown is checked in for Walt. Good comes in for George. Odom, he's checked in for Green. And Parker subbed in for Sasha Vujicic. Nowitzki's checked in for the Mavericks. Jerry comes in for Josh Powell. Harris passes to Van Horn. Pulls it from the elbow. And good coming on the assist from Devin Harris. Harris has got nine assists now tonight. Jacks up a three. And another three for the Lakers. Such an advantage to have a big man like Cook who can step out and hit the three. Harris inside. He's against Parker. A wide open look here for Jerry. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. This is exactly the type of competitor that he is. He's not backing down. He's not shying away. Coming right back at him with the three of his own. They're going at it right now. This is the level of competition the fans love to see. Mark, what a hot start to the year for the Mavs. It's been Dallas 18 and 6. And somehow, Kevin, that's only the third best record in the NBA right now. The Mavs showing. They're locked in and taking care of business this year. Got the look you wanted. Sometimes it just doesn't go down. Bryant down low. He's covered by Daniels. Drops it in for 27 points in this half. Really an expert finisher. Let Bryant get this close, and it's more or less over. Harris misses. 
Los Angeles leading by 19. And it's out of bounds. Uh, they say it was last touch by Brown. Boy, what a brain neutral pass that was. I hope he learns from that one. My goodness. Eric Dampier's checked in for the Mavericks. Griffin comes in for Devin Harris. And he takes the fantastic lead pass up strong for the slam. Doesn't get any higher percentage than this. Dampier playing with strength down low. And it's Cook missing. And it's Terry with the ball for the Mavericks. To the paint. Here's Nowitzki. And the jam by Dirk Nowitzki. Brings this game a little closer using that large one-handed slam. Wow, that's a great way to get your team back into it. Yeah, I think that might put a little spark into them. Poor defense on the perimeter. Has to be better. Nowitzki outside. Parker against Terry. Pass to Griffin. Well, it really shows on the face of Nowitzki how much he loves playing the game. And that kind of enthusiasm is infectious. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. Los Angeles leading by 15. Here's Odom. And it's good on the assist by Parker. Parker's got assist number five here tonight. And, you know, even though he's not a lights-out shooter from deep, the defense still has to be more aggressive there. Spins. Here's Terry. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Brown's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. 133 left to play here in the second quarter. And another basket for the Lakers. The touch on Brown's mid-range shot surprising everyone. Average trail by 20. Terry the pass to Nowitzki. Inside. And Griffin scores. The assist by Nowitzki. That's what you want from ball movement. Get the defense moving and find the chance inside. Outside Odom. And good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. Odom's got 10. Hey, the primary and secondary thing that Odom gives you is versatility at both ends. Here's Daniels. Rebound by Parker. Los Angeles leading by 20. There's 38 seconds left to play here in the half. It's rebounded by Dallas and taken away by Brown. Three-pointer on the way. Dirk Nowitzki with the rebound. You know, what was he thinking? That's not within his range at all. Way outside of his limits. I'm surprised that he would attempt that shot. Much better to swing the ball around to someone else. I bet Coach loves to see this. Attacking the interior for a safer shot. For three, Kobe gets it to go. He has 30 for the half. From deep, inside, outside, all level. Kobe can flat out get it done. That shot missing. Well, it's not easy to time an alley-oop. Just ask that pair. It's much harder than it looks. It takes two guys to sink. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers sitting on a 21-point lead to end the quarter. From the field, they have been at the city of Los Angeles is lit up at night. A sea of lights scattered across the night sky. The second half is starting up here in L.A. Lakers against the Mavs on this Tuesday night on 2K. And for the Lakers, Mike, they've had a tough schedule to start the season. A lot of games against tough opponents should get a lot easier for them in the second half of the season. If they can tread water, they should be fine. Working his way inside for a high percentage look there. Nicely done. Hey, a bumpy start to a new half for this D, though. They kind of gave that up. Excellent distribution. That possession highlighting how important unselfishness is. Here's Terry. Uses the glass to finish the lane. Terry's got four points in the quarter. This is what Terry loves to do. Get downhill. 
Put defenders on their heels. Kobe, that's good. Nothing wrong with the mid-range J to keep padding to the lead. And they gave him a bit too much space on that chance. Need to tighten up the D. To the right side. Griffin kicks to Daniels. Let's it go from 14. Shot's good. Griffin making the play. Griffin's got four assists in the game. Puts up a deep three. Odom, no good. Well, you know, he felt like he was in rhythm, but that still is a very long shot attempt. And you love the confidence, but maybe come in a bit for the next one. Sensational ball movement there. When you pass the ball like that, good things happen. Terry dishes to Nowitzki. Parker with it. And Griffin picks him up defensively for the three. And that one's good. Parker. Parker's got his third basket of the night right there. Not his favorite shot, but nice to see Parker hitting from out there. Well, Phil Jackson has delivered everything Laker fans could have hoped for in his tenure, Clark. No doubt about that. You're right on. Multiple titles and some incredible teams. With Shaq gone, he's got a tougher challenge now, though. Still, Laker fans must love the job he's done. I don't see how they could. Here's Daniels, and he finishes it off with a one-handed jam. Oh, my goodness. Punching it through with one hand. That was nasty. And there was no denying him there. When he rises up like that, just get out of the way. Kobe with a brilliant assist that time. Terry kicks to Dan Pierre. To the middle. And the jam by Dirk Nowitzki. Hey, he's not a high flyer by any means, but Nowitzki still can throw it down on you. That one drops for him. Brown's got 18 points in the game. He's been a reliable offensive option, currently maintaining an impressive field goal percentage in this game. Nowitzki for three. They get it back. Fires the three. Outside for Griffin. From past the arc. Here's Dampier. Missed it. Even after all those chances. Parker outside. There's the triple. A shot's good on the assist by Odom. He's got 12. They've gotten out to a big lead because of superior play on both ends. No better way to do it. It's much easier to win games when you own both sides of the floor. This was not too far away, Mike, and the Lakers, one of the teams, playing that night. It should be fun. Only two Christmas Day games this year, but they are great matchups. Shaq and Kobe facing off as the Lakers go to Miami. And the Spurs versus Pistons later on should be a great one as well. Here's Dallas. The pass to Daniels. Back to Terry. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. Nice job hitting him right in stride. Excellent play. Looking to keep it rolling. Stay on the attack and keep playing the right way. That's a confidence builder for Brown. I mean, he has the size and touch to score over most any D. Terry kicks to Griffin. Daniels with it. He's against Parker. Daniels, no good. And Coach, something you appreciate, the ball distribution has been terrific in this one. Yeah, they've shown how efficient their offense can be when they're this unselfish. I like that they're putting in the work trying to build this lead out. Because in the NBA, no lead is safe. And, well, that looks like an intentional foul there. Any idea why, Clark? No idea at all, Kevin. I mean, maybe he wanted a break. Come on, man. I assume he'll be hearing about that one because that was not a good play. And it's a completely new group on the floor for the Mavericks. Count that one. It all started with the pass. That's what coaches love to see, ball movement. And so it's the Lakers with it. Let's take a moment here to check in with our sideline reporter, the terrific David Aldridge. Well, it's been tough for the Mavericks to get wins here in L.A. Dallas has a record of 9-45 against the Lakers here in Los Angeles. Now they fared better in recent years, but historically, it's been one of their toughest road trips. Guys? David, sensational report. Thank you so much. And Clark, tough for teams to come in here and play. You're absolutely right, Kevin. It's been hard for anybody to get wins here in LA. George has checked in for Los Angeles. 
The three from Bryant. The shot's good. Brown making the play. Brown's got four assists now tonight. The number of the second half, three. They are drilling shots. And that starts with ball movement. Putting your shooters in good positions. This is how you do it. Show them how it's done. He hung there right for the extra effect, and it did take effect. Nothing wrong with being a little flashy. They're starting to idle down and settle in. Much better shot selection this half. Yeah, they're showing great patience at the offensive end. Harris against Kobe. Stolen away. Dirk has had an impact. Mike Kobe has run away in their scoring battle. Kobe is playing possessed. He's made it his personal mission to carry this Lakers offense. Look at that from Odom. Dude's got handles. Kobe against Armstrong. Harris outside. Here's Jock, and it's thrown down hard with both hands. Putting a little mustard and spice on that slam. <laughs> Well said, His guys encourage him to go up hard, and he did. And you can see why, given that kind of finish. Here's Van Horn. He's covered by Brown. That one is good from Van Horn. Clark Keith Van Horn gives the Mavs a weapon off the bench. He's lethal. Yeah, he really is. He gives them a bit of a dirt light impression, if you will. Doesn't offer a whole lot defensively, but he knows what his strengths are. Gives them shooting when Dirk sits and also allows them to go big if they need to. And it's Armstrong missing. Defensive positioning is extremely important, and he could not have played him much better. Out of bounds, it'll be Mavericks ball. Mike, uh, look here at the Western Conference standings. Spurs are at the top where everyone expected them to be, but the Mavs are right on their heels. And the Lakers are right in the thick of a very tight Pacific division. And the Lakers with some changes. Walton's checked in for Brown. Green comes in for Lamar Odom. And it's Vujicic in for Cook. Pass to Van Horn. And uh, 101 left in the third quarter of the game. He'll normally convert on that finish. The defense got lucky. Bryant from way outside. Rebounded by Benga. That was unexpected to say the least. What a misguided decision there. No idea what he was thinking there. And his teammates look just as confused as we are. And here is Bryant. 37 points for him. Puts up a deep three. It's rebounded by Jop. And so here is Dallas. Here's Harris. He feeds it to Benga. Over Vujicic. Drops it in from 11 feet. Benga's got six. And so it's the Lakers with it. There's Green with the three. Drops in the tray. How about Vujicic with the handoff? Didn't get up to a more open guy. Harris against Green. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Luke Walton. That'll be his second foul of the game. That's his second personal foul. Third team foul. Here is Armstrong. Here is outside. And that would have counted, but his uh, shot was off the mark this time. The the Mavericks. 91. That's the division on the court coming into the floor for your Lakers. Number four, Luke Walton. Five seconds left in the fourth. And the final buzzer. And the Lakers get the home win over the Mavericks. This is a big win for the Lakers. They've continued to get their season back on track. This was a tough Mavericks team. Mike, they are. Gal was unhappy with taking the loss, but Clark, thank you, David. For our terrific reporter, David Aldridge, along with Clark Kellogg and Mike Fratello, I'm Kevin Hart.